YouTube. How are you going? G'day. It's Friday and um, if you saw my previous video, I said I'd have another one up by the end of the week because I'm asking for help. Stick around. This one's going to uh, help a lot of microgreens farmers here in Australia if they wish to go organic because yes, there is some problems out there. Okay, when I got certified, would you believe microgreens weren't even recognized in the national organic standards as a crop definition? Now if that doesn't make sense, basically it is saying that microgreens don't exist. Well how did I get certified? With a struggle. Now the National Australian Organic Standards recognize sprouts and they recognize seedlings in nurseries but not microgreens. Now, when I um, ask for your help, any people from overseas that wish to write to me to support this application, which I'll get to shortly, uh, let me know how your industry is so we can include this information in this uh, portfolio, I guess, or submission that we are going to be putting together. Now, let's get to the point. Microgreens, I'll say it again, are not recognized in the Australian National Organic Standards as a, its own crop definition. Now, how did I get through? Thank God I had a consultant, Alice, Alistair. Uh, his short name is Al. You're going to meet him. They own the grow tunnels. Uh, well, I own them now, but they uh, own the company. And he's also an ex-ACO uh employee but now does his own organic consultations where he can assist you to become organic now i'm sure a lot of you may need his help moving forward and i'm here also for those that wish to uh, eventually switch over to organics now i've had a few people write to me since my last video saying they're interested in this yes i've uh, not replied to you all but i have you in my mind and i guess i will send this video to you because this is the next step so how did I become certified with microgreens? It wasn't easy. It was easier for me because I had market gardens, but if someone like a, uh, a small farm that's farming from home or in uh, a small greenhouse that doesn't have market gardens are gonna struggle because, you know, microgreens slotted into my certification as an extra sort of, uh, variety or thing that I do but the list that I have is all vegetables and then microgreens and then the varieties underneath that so what this means is what we're going to do is put together a submission to the Australian I think it's even the government but it has to be uh, put to a panel and it'll take 12 months but it's going to be worth it up to 12 months um, this is what Al's told me but what if I can get enough support from you guys and from uh, and if I and Al put together a strong enough uh, case to say hey microgreens are actually pretty popular here in Australia and the industry has a has a sl has a quite a large uh, uh, growth and uh, industry value why is it not recognized as as its own crop definition now So I'm going to put my email address here and in the comment section. It's my email guys so please keep this solely for this purpose and um, if you need to contact me about things other than that just hold your horses. I need to get through this and um, as we move forward you're going to have a lot of questions with the new videos I'll be uh, putting out but let's just stick to the reason for this video for now. So. My email will be there. I need those interested Australian farmers that don't have a market garden but are pretty much organic or follow a lot of the principles that would consider getting a certification into the future because we need more. There's not many certified organic microgreen farmers and I'm, I'm hooting for you. It's an industry that has so much leverage and you know, if you're certified, you're going to please the conventional people and the organic people. So why not be organic as well, if you think this is an interesting path for you. So, 
in your email, can you please write me just one paragraph? You know, you don't have to write me a story. You can if you want, but I just need some point forms stating name of my farm, where I am, the uh, how long I've been growing. I follow organic principles, but struggle to meet uh, criteria for organic standards due to the lack of uh, you know description on or crop uh, recognition for microgreens so that's all you need to do and then I'll compile all this and Al and I will be putting together a strong case seriously strong one uh, outlining the industry growth here in Australia for microgreens the potential for the future I've got all that information I already know just from my own sales and just here in the Northern Rivers the it's almost parabolic people are moving away from the old alfalfa sprout they want a yummy tasty microgreen which is we all know much more nutrient dense and mm, much tastier <laughs> and much prettier so listen that's about it <clears throat> uh, any questions about what I'm asking hit me down below uh, or send me an email but please if that all makes sense put it together in an email real quick I really think um, it'll help the industry moving forward for both conventional and organic farmers it's it's gonna it's gonna bleed into the seed industry where we can set up more uh, seed uh, breeders and farmers to grow certified organic seed because that's a whole nother video um, and things like that so it's 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 we're now planting a seed that's going to grow into something big and you're you're invited on the journey so um that's all for this video i, I need your help um and stick in there as of next week we're going to get into the nitty gritty of this i've got this hard part out of the way and um yeah guys look forward to getting stuck into it talk to you real soon get healthy get tasty and uh have a great weekend bye